<laughs> Hello, it's uh, bright and sunny today. So yeah, I'm doing my little squinting thing again. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, I've got lots of enthusiasm today. Uh, and I've got a little bit of energy. So I haven't got loads of energy. Don't think I'm going to be doing masses out here. Uh, but I do want to come out and do something. Firstly, I want to be out uh, in this glorious sunshine. Uh, just enjoying the fresh air. And also, I want to start having a think about the raised beds round in what will be the herb garden. Because having stacked a couple of pallet collars uh, together, and started filling it uh, Mr J has said that he doesn't really like them very much and he thinks it looks a bit too industrial uh, and actually I'm kind of inclined to agree with him uh, so I'm going to see what else we've got uh, that I can use to make raised beds uh, in that area uh, and have a think about how that might work so a similar size um, but just looking a bit less like pallet collars really. So this is what I've done. Uh, there are two pallet collars stacked one on top of another and I had thought to take them up again but it does look very industrial um, and even if I paint these uh, they're not going to look pretty so I'm going to see if I can find something else. these pallets uh, are about 15 feet long uh, and behind them they've got blocks of 4x4 uh, four four, or maybe 4x2 but anyway they've got blocks of wood behind them uh, that they've used to batten these lengths of wood onto. Uh, so there's a very real possibility I could use those uprights um, as the corner posts. That might work, that really might work. But I might want to think about doing two longer raised beds rather than uh, four smaller ones. Perhaps I should just get the jigsaw out and do a little bit of cutting and see what happens. So that's now cut into three pieces. That didn't take too long. Uh, I'm going to take these over uh, and just place them uh, in the herb garden. Already I can see uh, just how much bigger uh, widthways these are uh, than the existing box. Uh, will I cut them down to keep them the same size? I don't know. I'm going to bring over the long length and, uh, and see what I think. I'm really not very good at uh, visualising the length of things uh, without actually putting them into place. I've had to lose a layer because uh, I'm hot already just from moving those things around and I the long length was actually way too heavy for me to lift so I've had to just drag it uh, across the gravel but now it's here um, it's a funny size actually it's it's too short to go along the length uh, of this space and look good but I am quite tempted to put it uh, going the opposite angle to the one I'd imagined uh, and have one bed there and one bed just behind me here uh, with maybe a gap in the middle or maybe just a small box in the middle with some sort of evergreen herb in it. I'm going to have to have a bit more of a play. Uh, I really like the height of it. Uh, it's looking taller now because it's sitting on top uh, of this very thick layer uh, of wood chipping so it will drop down about uh, four to six inches but I think that's a good depth to be able to fill up with uh, large pieces of tree and smaller branches uh, and twigs and soil uh, and build that sort of Hugo culture uh, style bed in this raised bed. 
I'm enjoying this. I like things like this. It's a good project. I'm probably not going to get it finished today uh, because it's quite a lot of physical work and I'm not quite there yet. Nearly, but not quite. Uh, but let's just see how I get on. I think I like the two rather than the four. Uh, they're big. <laughs> Uh, well, there you go. I had it. It's just neatly shown you how much bigger it is uh, than the box that was there before. And while I'm sitting here in a <laughs> slightly sweaty mess, so sorry about that, uh, I'm looking at the boxes behind me and I'm just wondering whether there is a way of cladding the um, pallet collars um, with, with uprights. Because I'm actually... Although I really like the size of the bigger ones, I had in mind four smaller beds um, and roses along the front of them. So I'm wondering if I can uh, if I can cut some of these uh, bits of pallet wood to the right length. I could I could actually make quite an attractive uh, you know, border around the outside of the boxes. Um, and I could, in fact, even if I got very clever, uh, put some sort of uh, edging strip around the top to make them look really very nice. Um, which would still look rustic, um, but it would take away that industrial thing, but it would, it would stop them becoming quite so deep. I'd, they just look, it just looks huge. <laughs> Uh, I'm quite, not quite sure what it is. I, I, there's something I like about the palette, the big palette, but there's also, it's just, it's too cumbersome in some ways. This is, it's quite a small area. Uh, and I don't think it needs delicate, but I don't think it needs chunky either. It's one I'll have to carry on thinking on for a little while. I've just come inside because I've had to peel off more layers. Uh, my Thermal vest and polo neck jumper were absolutely uh, not going to be right uh, for this. Sunshine, sunshine. I've had to switch to my phone uh, for a little while because the battery's gone in my camera. Uh, but also <laughs> in that time while I was changing my shirt, uh, I had a moment of realisation. And that was the thing that I don't like so much about uh, this new planter is is the depth of it so because I've got loads of these very long pallets so I can uh, I can change my mind if I need to I'm gonna have a go at cutting uh, the top two uh, layers off of wood paneling which will take the height down a bit uh, I might do it with one to start with but anyway I'm gonna cut some off see if I prefer it slightly shorter so I've taken uh, one slice off the top uh, which will make that one a little bit shorter let's have a look and see what that looks like I think that's better. I do think that's better. I just don't want it to look uh, too huge and out of proportion for the area. Does it need to come off another layer? My decision is to uh, give it a go at this height because uh, cutting it down was relatively easy. So if I want to cut it down again, uh, that wouldn't be a problem be nice just to I'm going to screw a couple of sides on uh, so, so I can start to get a feel for it and you know this is all just an experiment so I might scrap it all and go back to the pallet collars I 
I find this so frustrating, but I really do think this is as far as I'm going to get today. I'm starting to feel very tired, so rather than uh, overdo it and then be on the sofa for another couple of days, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, let Mr J have a look at it, see what he thinks of the size and the height, and then take it from there another day. So, a couple of hours ago, I was outside in my t-shirt. <laughs> trying to build that raised bed and now as you can hear the rain is coming down really really hard well that's all from me today uh, obviously I'm not going to get the raised bed finished I will have a talk to Mr J uh, but I think uh, rain has stopped play and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and I also hope you can join me again next time.